Hi, it's Randy Rhodes. Hope you enjoy this free clip from Political Voices Network. What? Oily, oily, oily muscle man? This is uh, what Ron DeSantis puts in a commercial? I, I don't even get it. I don't. Randy, that, that commercial literally is an AR-15 monster truck and bottle of penis enlargement pills all rolled into one. For what purpose? To show what? How awesome and manly he is. Awesome and manly he is. Yeah, how he's an how alpha. is he he's awesome? An alpha. And... He's an alpha male. He's not an alpha male. He's he's literally worshiping greased up, uh, you know, uh, bodybuilders. I mean, it's like something Arnold Schwarzenegger would show you. I, I have no idea. Like, what is the message here? What is he trying to say? What is he trying to show you? What is he trying to? I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand this man. There's something wrong with him. Okay, he is he is literally an, a, a person who enjoys. Uh, you know, uh, uh, trolling people who just enjoys, I, I don't know. I don't even know what it is that he likes anymore. What is it that he likes? People dying around him? People, I mean, he, obviously he's a sick SLB, right? That he would even put an ad out like that, that has Christian Bale as the American psycho in it, in it. Next to like, uh, you know, uh, 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 I don't know, what is it? It's like, uh, you know, uh, uh, Ferris Bueller music. I, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Chica chica. Right? I, I have no idea what that, it's very sick, it's very sad. So anyway, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people have seen it and uh, nobody can figure out what exactly this is. Uh, I will tell you that uh, Donnie Deutsch was saying, listen, uh, you know, this 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 is the like the, the darkest of the dark. I've never seen anything like it. DeSantis is such a dark, dark, dark character. I've talked a lot about it on the show how, at the end of the day, a candidate, Trump, even though, you know, we eviscerate him, and there is a likability if you're a Trump guy about him. He's entertaining. He's a lounge act. He's this a lounge act. This guy is just the dark, the prince of darkness. And mm. that is one of the darkest, most bizarre, twisted, deviant ads I've ever seen. Well, he was defending it yesterday. Bipartisan backlash to the video, by the way. Many people calling it homophobic. Governor DeSantis standing by the ad, calling it fair game. What do you mean? Oh, it's it's definitely dead. I would I would say he's he's now roadkill DeSantis. That I don't even understand what that ad was, but to sit there and tell me that he's all about defending our girls and women, that he's about defending the rights of women. Isn't this the same guy that just did a six-week abortion bet? Six weeks. Nobody even knows they're pregnant at six weeks, okay? I, 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 what the hell? Who is this for? Who is he trying to appeal to? And nobody even can tell whether or not it's homophobic or it's homoerotic. Nobody knows, like, what the message of it is. So, uh, you know, Brandon Wolf, who is a, a wonderful spokesperson for, uh, you know, gun legislation, meaning he'd like to see some, uh, he was at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida, when, um, you know, this uh, this attack happened and a lot of his friends died. And he's now, you know, uh, a, a person who appears regularly asking for and, uh, you know, saying America's like a crime scene now. Well, the White House is a crime scene, so why not, you know, just put the whole yellow tape around the whole country? The whole freaking thing, because the whole world sees us as one giant crime scene now where our kids are being slaughtered at school, in the street, at the mall, at the, you know, you name it, uh, we'll, we'll kill you there. At the festival, at the July 4th parade, wherever, wherever you go, we'll kill you. You want to go to the supermarket? We'll kill you there. We'll hunt you down. We'll kill you there. Yeah, America's just a giant crime scene. But anyway, so Brandon Wolf was on, obviously, to talk about, you know, uh, gun legislation after, you know, the July 4th weekend. But then they showed him the, uh, you know, the, the DeSantis ad, and they asked him, like, can you figure this out? Like, do you understand, like, what the message of this ad is as a Floridian, as somebody who lives with this governor and understands, you know, that uh, he will never do gun legislation, okay? He's, he's all about slaughtering everybody all the time, and then he puts the American psycho guy in his ad. What do you make of it? This governor has staked a very bizarre and out of touch lane in the 2024 presidential race. He's decided that he's going to run to the right of Donald Trump, that he's gonna build an entire brand on raw homophobia, transphobia, and general bigotry. <laughs> you don't want to be Florida, trust me. You do not. You do not. Oregon, you don't want to be Florida. Washington State, you don't want to be Florida. Colorado, you don't want, you know, uh, you, no, no, not even close, okay? Not even close. Nobody wants to be us, okay? Where, you know, 
you have a governor who is a bully. You have a governor who literally gets off on being cruel. You got a governor who literally sues Walt Disney, one of the greatest tourist attractions ever known to man in this state, especially in a state like Florida, which is all based on tourism. I mean, come on, this is crazy. You don't want to be like us. You, you would have to sue your ski slopes, Colorado.